up. Yeah. What's going on? Introduce yeah. yourself and what you do in the band. I'm Henry, you play keys. I'm Rob, play drums. Daniel, guitar. Jesse, guitar. Marcus, vocalist. Joseph, bassist. Yeah, welcome guys to the studios here hanging yeah. out. Uh, there's a lot of you. You guys are like in a band or what do you Yeah, yeah. man. Ten. Uh, ten of us in a 15 passenger van, dude. It's what? <laughs> it's sorry, dude. It's, it it's, smells like balls. I'm just going to let you know. Well, I'm actually kind of close to you guys right now. You guys don't smell that bad. <laughs> we, just, you know, we just had a hotel last night. So uh, <laughs> you guys have been uh, on the Mayhem Fest all summer long. I missed the Mayhem Fest for the very first time because I moved from Jersey yeah. to California. And you guys just played California at the end of June. We flew out here July 1st. We missed the East Coast. I missed the West Coast Mayhem. And then I, and then all of a sudden, you know, all the stuff was just in the press. I was yeah. like, oh, come on. You know, it was, it was unfortunate what happened in the press. But, uh, you know, typical Shattered Sun, we stayed out of it, man. And... We didn't, we didn't want no part of that. We're great friends with Gary Holt, you know what I mean? And, you know, Slayer's really good friends with, you know, our management, Chuck, Billy, Johnny, and, you know, we have great admiration for all parties involved, so we just felt best to stay out of that and just do our thing, man, rock out every day. But, but you bring up a great point because you guys, it was a big opportunity for Shattered Sun, yeah. and there was a lot of people out there on these shows, yeah. and, and it didn't matter. There were still thousands of exactly. metalheads going out exactly. to these yeah. shows. Yeah, and it was like every day, you know, we were turning crowds around that had never heard of us, and we just took the opportunity and ran with it, man. We didn't give a shit about what was being said in the media. We just, a couple of Texas boys that wanted to go out there and make a name, you know? Yeah, it's cool, yeah. man. You guys got your green cards and stuff, all you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You sure? <laughs> you know? yeah. Funny, you should see what they, what they say to us at the Canada border. They always open it up and see, you know, 10 Mexican dudes just crammed in there. They're just like, they freak out, but it's pretty funny seeing their faces. That's cool. Well, we'll keep, keep us a, a good name out there. Yeah. No, don't, fuck us, don't fuck it up for us. You, know what I'm saying? you don't want Trump to be right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. We're proving it wrong every day. Good. We're no, it I'm wrong. kidding. I'm a little political shit every once in a while, man. Shout out hanging out here. What, are they? what the fuck is going on? So I'll say, man, in here, Sirius XM Liquid Metal in Seal Beach, California, with a band from Texas, Shattered Sun, a bunch of badass Latinos. Welcome to the studios here, guys. I'm glad to have you guys here. Well, that's a big ass Darth Vader tattoo. Oh, yeah, man. I I'm just know Boba Fett. I'm a, I'm, a huge, uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, man. I fucking. Am I just I, noticing this now for the first time? Yeah, what are you trying to show me? I got a lightsaber in and out, man. Fucking in and out my neck. Uh, you got a lightsaber yeah. in and out of your neck, dude. Yeah, fucking. They got me a big old job of the hut and shit, fucking. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Oh, bro. look here. <laughs> just counting down the days till the new movie, bro. Oh, man. Did you, did you pre order your tickets already, Henry? Unfortunately not. I think it's sold out around where we're from, so uh, I'm shit out of luck. You're gonna have to go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys big Star Wars fans? Anybody? So, so no. Yeah. no. no. Do, you, do you make fun of Henry all the time? I actually have no idea about Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I make fun wait, of wait, wait, all right, Mr. Badass, what do you like then? What are you into? Big, we're a uh, big horror movie fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. all right, all right. We're talking about Jason, Michael, Freddy. Chucky. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, yeah our, our oldest daughter dressed up as Chucky oh, for sweet. Halloween yeah. this Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we're big horror fans, man. So Halloween is uh, one of our favorites. Too. Okay, so what's your favorite horror movie of all time? Halloween 6, Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, Freddy's Dead, which is totally underrated, but it's totally one of my favorites. I know, like, all the lines in that movie. I love it. Uh, the Shining, which is fucking killer. Yeah. Uh, it's basically, uh, Jason, I think Jason Takes Manhattan was one of my favorites. <laughs> yes. yes. You kind of go with the cheese route here. But I love that one. <laughs> well, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 30, man. 30? Oh, you're the oldest in the yeah, band? Dude. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you gotta teach all these young boys how to yeah, do it, man. Exactly. So, yes, yeah, are, you are you teaching them how to eat out vagina and stuff? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> and now he's all turning red. I can't. I You guys also watch Blood In, Blood Out too oh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We were hanging out here, and you guys uh, were quoting lines from that movie. Man, I need a, a, a refresher course on that movie, man. Get out, puto! You're not my blood. <laughs> Cutting you off like they did my leg. <laughs> Anybody else? Blood In, Blood Out. Uh, I think I'm the only one that can quote it. Right, come on. All right, give me one more. Uh, Oye, Gavacho, you like busty dope dealers. <laughs> <laughs> that, was good. that was a good one, dude. <laughs> and then out with Soulfly, how did that feel, brother? It was fucking awesome. Like, you know, the whole Soulfly cam, they're all fucking cool as shit. Like, they, we all got along really, really well. We probably hung out with, you know, their 
camp more than anybody else. And... Oh, because they smoke a lot of weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of Mexican humor that kind of went, went around as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they call us chimichangas. Yeah. <laughs> they, say our van, they say our van smells like hardcore Mexican food. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's that like, can't be accurate. I, mean, I, I can <laughs> kind of believe that. Because <laughs> we haven't been eating Mexican food on this tour. Yeah. So I've yeah. seen a lot of KFC lately. Oh, <laughs> so we're keeping it, you know, American. Like, I'll fucking sell my soul for that original yeah. recipe. So <laughs> Dude, I got five. I quit KFC my senior year in high school. I was there for a few months in Douglas, Arizona, right on the border. And brand new KFC. We were so stoked to have a new KFC. We didn't have one. And then I remember one day I was in the drive thru and it was busy. And this manager came. She's like, Jose, I need to clean the bathroom. And I'm like, But I'm on drive thru and I'm, I'm, I'm busy right now. She's like, Clean the bathroom. She was like, Being weird. I was like, all right. And they went to the bathroom. Uh, somebody must have exploded before uh -huh. they even sat down. Oh, like they took no. down their pants and at an angle shot at the back of the toilet <laughs> at the seat. So it collected on that rim on top and it just poured over the side. Didn't go in. It poured over the side and on the whole back. And I went in there and I, I was gagging, dude. And then, and then I, sat, I stood there for like five minutes and was like, okay, I'm going to quit. But how am I gonna quit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I and I and I went and I took off my hat and I I was like, pushed her. You clean the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, a Mark Wahlberg approach. I, right? yeah. Mark says, oh, "I'm gonna take a piss." Yeah. He's never come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I said bye. Yeah. You know, in, in a nice way. But it's cool, man. You guys have a powerhouse trinity of badasses yeah. managing you, dudes. How does, I mean, that's gotta feel kind of crazy. Oh yeah, Chuck, Maria, John. They're great people. Yeah. Really awesome to work with. And yeah, it's just been. A great year that yeah. we've been with them so far. And it's, they took us it's really from awesome. they took us from a very small town, and we were the we were one of their first signees yep. along with Exodus. So it was like, I think they thought it was going to be easier, and they bit off you know a little bit more than they could chew with us. But in the end, man, everything that they said came true. Yep. You know what I mean? I remember those first uh, times that they came down to Texas. We barbecued for Chuck and. We performed for him in a little living room and made just beans. the yeah made beans and block <laughs> and, man it was literally one of those moments you'll never forget because Chuck Billy sitting on the couch eating some fajitas and and guacamole watching you perform just staring through your soul yeah and it was like oh my god it was yeah. it was nerve wracking man but yeah. you know the, that's what hit it off with them you know what I mean and it's it's an awesome story because where we're from man we weren't supposed to be doing this, you know what I mean, so. Are you speaking of a guacamole, this motherfucker wants to challenge me? <laughs> yeah. now, are you the guy I see in emails for like year, the last year that wants to challenge me? Like, I'm so busy, yeah. you guys want to come, hey Jose, they want to come do a guacamole challenge, like, motherfuckers, yeah. I don't have time to do that, yeah. all the time. Yeah. It's like, you know, I made guac one time, and everyone started hyping shit up, and then like, you got blown up to this big ass thing, so like, every single time, like, you know, your name gets brought up, it's like, yeah, we're gonna throw down some guac. Ah, uh, wait, yeah. you yeah. made it once? That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. I made it once in front of like Chuck, and then oh, like, so you need to oh, Chuck. Block, so okay. Like he makes some serious fucking dips. Yeah. <laughs> Since then, man, you've been public enemy number yeah. one. All right, long cool. Trip, man. I know I have a big target on my ass. Dude, it's all good. Dude, like Chuck started fucking with me. Like we were on tour with him. I made it. Thought I like you know made this good batch. Everyone's digging it, and he's like, hey. Need more garlic. Yeah! <laughs> He's just fucking with me like that. Hey, but if you can't please Chuck, bro, then you're gonna lose, uh, man. Uh, we burned his ass that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's all, you, may, you want me to make it spicier? I uh, think some, you know, some extra little, you know, little spritz of some spice in there. And... Spritz, I love it. <laughs> spritz, like, you gotta dump it in there, homie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. I will challenge you and we'll do a public face off, right. a radio face off, Shattered Sun versus Jose. Right. Man. Waiting, man. We're all right, man. Right. Yeah. All right. I know you guys are waiting. That's awesome. I, I would, it would suck to lose, but right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lose. It's right. XM Liquid Metal a la verga style here in Silver Beach, California. <laughs> My name's Jose, hanging out here with some Mexicanos, Shattered Sun, six dudes from Texas. These guys were on the Mayhem Fest. They were on the Soul Fly Tour. They did uh, Testament and Exodus. Chuck Billy is their freaking manager. Chuck! Yeah. He's their fucking manager, man. Super cool. All six members of Shattered Sun are here. And um, I know we've been playing, Sirius XM has been playing you guys across a few different channels for I mean since the beginning yeah uh, and it's cool you guys said you had some friends out yeah. in the oil field yeah, yeah. Texas. yeah. Well, well, we're yeah. from the oil fields huge man you know you go away for like two three weeks at a time then come home and it's just funny getting those calls from all our friends uh, hey man well Seb played you on the radio today man so uh, yeah he played that song hope with the nature man and I'm just like oh Seb man he's 
He's pumping you guys, man. So you're like a celebrity down there, man. That's it's, cool. It's, it's awesome, you know, for us to be here with you, man. We just want to thank you for everything. Hey, you've done what for are their names, man? man? Give them a shout out. What's oh, up? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah. I'll just... Hey, mira, amigos, thank you for telling them about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. I'm I love like... to hear that. Keep it up, Holmes. Orale. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah, to give a shout out to Matthew Cisneros, man. He always sends us videos of you and and all our all our Oldfield brothers down there, you know, in Dallas, Texas, man. They're out there slugging Hell it out, yeah. man, working their balls. Off, oh, dude. dude, for the oil field badasses in Alice, Texas, this one's for you, man. This is that track, eh? They keep on playing on the radio. God damn it, a la verga. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking paying them vessels or what? I need them tamales from Alice again. <laughs> Hope with it, hatred from Shattered Sun's debut album. This is the track here on Sirius XM Liquid Metal. Shout out to the oil field in Alice, Te Alice Texas. God damn it, come on. Yeah. <laughs>